These days, we're all waking up to new Twitter drama. Elon Musk is actually right behind the president in using Twitter to cause a lot of trouble. Elon Musk is buying Twitter for $44 billion. The breaking news overnight, Twitter suspended multiple journalists from prominent outlets. Elon Musk asked Twitter if he should step down. Then everybody debated who should take his place. More policies, more changes, more polls. It's non-stop. But throughout all of this, an important detail might have gone under the radar. A Twitter whistleblower revealing shocking details about the inner workings of the company. And I'm here to catch you all up. So who's this whistleblower? His name is Peter Much Sadko. And his story is quite interesting. Nearly 25 years ago, as a young programmer, Zatko testified in Congress that the internet is incredibly insecure. This young, hippie-looking programmer raised the alarm, saying that software and e-commerce companies will ignore the problems because it's cheaper for them. A couple of years later, he joined a group of hackers that would break into computer systems and then would work with the companies to make them more secure. Obviously, these days, it's a common practice, but back then, he was seen as a crazy provocateur. Yet, it did get him far. He led a cybersec program at the Pentagon, worked at Google, and finally, in 2020, Twitter hired him to fix security and privacy issues the platform had. We can't possibly know what happened, but pretty soon, he was fired. Twitter representatives claimed that the reason was poor performance, while Zatko has a completely different story to tell. Zatko said that employees had concerns about Twitter advertising companies that might have been related to the Chinese government. And he raised this question with Twitter executives. But the answer was this. It would be problematic to lose the revenue stream. This profit over people and security runs throughout the entire story. And it gets worse. Much worse. Zatko said that around 4,000 employees had access to users' personal information. The company was not logging their activity, so they could easily take that information and do with it what they wanted without leaving a trace. They don't know what data they have, where it lives, or where it came from. And so, unsurprisingly, they can't protect it. Even worse, he said that one or more Twitter employees might have been working for a foreign intelligence service. And when he tried confronting them about it, nothing happened. What's the matter? Don't you trust me, Schmidt? Obviously, you're free to question and be suspicious, but this year has definitely shown that Twitter has security problems. For example, in the summer, an ex-Twitter employee was found guilty of spying on Saudi dissidents. He was taking and passing their personal information to a close aide of the crown prince. And in late November, a story broke that a hacker published data including email addresses and phone numbers of 5.4 million Twitter users on a hacker forum. In a sudden plot twist, as we were editing this video, this happened. Twitter got breached again. While we're having fun seeing all the Twitter drama play out and voting on Musk's polls, let's remember that they have another promise to uphold, keeping us and our information safe. For now, I guess it's best to take your security into your own hands and remember that all these free platforms actually come at the cost of privacy.